For being one of the most widely celebrated holidays, daylight savings time doesn't get a lot of attention in the media. Today I'm here to change that with the Just John Daylight Savings Special Report. Daylight savings time begins this weekend. Do you have any big plans? No, I do not. Actually, my friend is having his 21st birthday. So you're going to lose an hour of partying. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Hi, I'm just John with Zwinner 2.9. Can you tell me where um, any of the good daylight savings time parties are going to be this weekend? Um, no. <laughs> no, come on. Tell me. I'll tell you off the radio. Deal. I'm just John with Zwinner 2.9. I want to talk about daylight savings this weekend. <laughs> daylight savings time. I don't know, is that we get the extra hour? No, we lose an hour on Sunday. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about Daylight Savings? There's longer, longer days. What do you think about the music that got playing in here? Does it make you anxious? Yeah. Like, I get that it's supposed to be soothing, but it actually makes me really nervous. It's like, where is the... Get to the point, you know? They could at least stick, like, a catchy chorus in there at some point. At least, yeah. We all know that the holidays can be tough for some people, and judging by the cold responses I got from a few of the people I interviewed, Daylight Savings Time is no exception. How are you celebrating Daylight Savings Time? What do you mean? Do you and your family have any traditions? Do you and the girls all change the clocks back at the same time? Well, I, I, I don't know. That's <laughs> up to them. What are you doing for Daylight Savings Time? Absolutely nothing. Well, I bet changing your clock forward is something. <laughs> Um, hopefully I'm doing that, <laughs> okay? And that's how you talk about daylight savings time. This is Just John, Just Reports.